Hi you guys, how are you? If you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah. This is my YouTube channel, Stitching by Sarah. This is a channel about my big old addiction called cross stitch. And today's video will show you how much of an addiction I have. So uh, if you're new, I wanna thank you for stopping by. And for all my wonderful return, returning viewers and subscribers, I wanna thank you so very much for stopping by, for comments, likes, and all that stuff. So it's been several weeks since I've been here for a regular update video. Um, this is not my usual 15 minutes to 30 minute video. Um, it's going to be a little bit longer. Um, so I went to the Silver Needle Retreat um, up in Tulsa and had a wonderful time. Um, just sat and stitched and talked to the designers and shopped. Leah's here. If you hear any noise, that's her. I shopped and I shopped and I shopped. And I had told myself, uh, you don't need any more patterns. Um, if you get anything, you're going to get some fabric or some floss. Um, but you all know me. I bought. So, I will show you all that stuff later. Um, and I'll tell you about... Um, my my survey at work and all that stuff later so my featured ffo this week i forgot to show you that i had finished this um so i'm going to insert picture right here this is um something i made for a friend of mine for her birthday uh, this is called florence this is from be in my bonnet um i stitched it on i think it's 28 count I don't know how to pronounce this. F-R-I-E-Z-E, -E, Freeze by Rogue. Um, I made it for a friend for her birthday. So for my featured friend, um, this is from my friend Tina. She had uh, made uh, the same pattern that I did. It's called Winter Ride. Um, she, it took her a lot less time than I did. I think she started it last fall and she finished it. This is what it looks like fully finished. So this is Tina's version of Winter Ride. All right, I made I made a list because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget something. All right, so I'm very proud of myself. I did not start anything at the retreat. Um, however, I don't have any finishes either. So no starts, no finishes. I thought about starting some of these um, kits that we received from the designers, but then I thought, I have 60-something whips, as you can see. Um, I don't need to be starting anything. As much as I wanted to start it, I didn't. I, I kept myself from doing it. Um, so let me go through. Oh, first of all, before I forget, for all the winners of my 1,000 um, subscriber giveaway, they all went out. I'm sorry. They just went out yesterday. Um, I do need Deborah Carroll Stitcher. I need you to contact me with your mailing address because you won the Kingsland, um, the Kingsland kit. And if I don't hear from her by next week, I usually don't do this. I usually don't redraw. I usually just put it right back into the um, big old box of giveaways. Um, but since this is, there's a lot of you guys that wanted that. So um, I will redraw from that video um, out of the winners. All right, let me show you my whips. All right, first is Count Your Blessings by La Di Da. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is where it's at now. So I am not using the called for floss. I'm using my own conversion. Um, the original was a little too muted for me and I am using silks. The fabric is 28 count picture this plus murmur. And I realized that I forgot to fill in the base there. So I gotta go back and fill that in. I think last time you guys saw it, I may have either started or finished the word count, and I, 
I needed to finish the, um, your. So I finished your and started blessings. I believe that's the only thing I've done since you've last seen it. Next is, I took this along to retreat because it's a pretty simple chart to, uh, yeah, pretty simple chart to work on. So this is Santa's hat of holly gifts, some ho, 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 and pet peppermints. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is where it is now. So this was a kit. Um, I don't remember what the, let me see if I have what the fabric is. Well, the called for fabric is 18 count. It says it's an 18 count. This is not an 18 count. I'd say it's more like a 10 count. I haven't actually counted it, but. And then it came with the um, pearl cottons. So that's that. Goes that way. Sorry, guys. So I believe there's a box over here that I need to finish. Um, let's see. I think all of up here is finished. That's finished. There's a box here to finish. And then there's green over here. And there's a box here. And I need to do something down here. And then down here is the um, fur lining of the hat. And then I'm done. So I'm pretty close. It's really easy to stitch on. I really enjoy stitching on it. As you can tell, if you're new to my channel, I stitch whatever like whenever I like. I don't have a set. Um, I don't have a set schedule. It, um, if the if the feeling hits me to stitch on something Christmas, I'll stitch on something Christmas. Um, you know, I just do what I want to do. All right, so this is Fragments in Time by Summer House Stitchworks. Let me put a picture here. So this is what it's gonna look like when I get done. And this is the chart that I'm working on specifically right now. And this is where it was last time you guys saw it. All right. That is what, what it looks like now. I have got quite a bit done since last time you guys saw it. I don't know how much of the border I had done, but I got the border all done. And then I started working inside. I don't think I've worked on the outside border any since the last time you guys saw it. So that's what that looks like. The fabric is 32 count vintage exemplar. And I have pulled my own floss. That's where that's at. I worked at this a lot at the retreat. And I think I've even worked on it since I've been home from the retreat. So after my survey the other day, last week, came home and I needed some mindless stitching. So I pulled out Home is Where the Wreath Is by um, Stitching with the Housewives. I did not take a picture of where it was last time. Um, so let me just show you what I've been working on. So I pulled out the letter H. None of this and down was completed. So I did all this and all this. The fabric is Slate by Be Stitch Me. And I'm not sure the 14 count. I think it's 14 count Slate by Be Stitch Me. All right. So that's where that is. I pulled out a chart that I started in February 
and have not worked on since then. So this is Proud to be an American by Poppy's Creations. Poppy Creations. Here's where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is where it is now. Uh, I know I put the blue box in, the stars, and I think I've done that row and that row. And I started that little box. I didn't do this row in here because I didn't have, I didn't have that in my bag, that color. So I have to pull it out and add it to my kit. All right, the fabric is uh, 32 count. Uh, the colorway is called Raw, and it's a Belfast. That's where it's at now. And I don't remember if I am using, I think I'm using the called for, uh, called for floss. All right. So this is another designer that was at the retreat. This was uh, the drawn thread. And I have been working on the sampler of stitches. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is where it is now. So I finished off the C. Oh, you know what? I put that away. Let me pull this out so I can tell you what stitches they are. All right, for the letter C, um, I finished the crown. I put in the cup stitch, which is the... Um, I think it's burgundy. Oh, no, that's dark mauve. And I put in the chain stitch. I'm not liking my chain stitch. Um, I may, after I get it all done, go back and, and redo it, but I'm not sure. And then I had all the other stitches in, I believe. So I went over to the letter D. I started D. And as I was stitching on it last night, I realized that that one that needs to be nope over here i need to do another set of those um let me turn the page and i'll tell you what stitches they are uh, let's see so double cross eyelets there's another double cross eyelets down here and then the um double twill stitch I need to take out because it needs to go down longer and then over here so over here is called the uh, double herringbone that's that stitch there and those there are the double leviathan. I can't seem to say that word. And that is the double darning. The fabric is a 30 count fabric that I don't remember what the name is. Um, someone gave it to me. And I am using the Calm for Swadege silks. So one more look at it. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do not say the, I do not call these specialty stitches. Um, to me, they are additional stitches because cross stitch is a form of embroidery and these are other embroidery stitches. So anyways, so that is what my sampler of stitches is looking like right now. Okay, and I have two more. I had to get a Marabilia in, 
So this is um, the Stargazer by Mirabilia. This is where she was last time you guys saw her. And there's where she's at now. So the fabric is 16 count witching hour by pole stitches. Everything but the bodice, the purple of her dress is the called for. And I believe I worked down, actually I know I worked down in there. So that's where Stargazer's at. And I just love this fabric. I've got to show it to you every time I do it. Look at that black and purple. Isn't that pretty? All right. And the last project that I pulled out since the last time I saw you guys. Is called God Sustains by My Big Toe. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And that's where it's at now. Fabric is 32 count Artemis by Be Stitch Me. Since the last time you saw it, I stitched the green leaves and I put in some of the trunk. And I pulled my own colors because these colors are too muted for me. I'm using um, coloring cotton flosses. So that's where it's at right now. And that's all the stitching I've done since the last time I've seen you in the last, what, three weeks? Considering it's been three weeks, that's not a lot of stitching for me. All right, so um, Silver Needle Retreat had a ball. It was so nice to just go and sit and stitch and talk to people. Um, so I'm going to show you the gifts that I had received. Um, so my friend Caroline gave me Whip It Good by Heartstring Samplery. All right, so Silver Needle gave us these cute little, um, cute little, um, it says Chala, Chala handbags. When you go in the Silver Needle, they have all sorts of these, all sorts of um, different animals or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and it says Chala donates 5% of their annual net profits to help animals in need through our char charity partners, Heart and Home Animal Rescue Foundation. So, isn't that cute? That might go to my daughter. She's, she's all into animals. All right. Um, from my friends at the retreats, this was a gift from Caroline. Um, let's see, we have a, um, oh, floss keeper ring, and she put the metal on there so that when you have a uh, needle minder on there, you can just hook this to your needle minder and it'll hang there so you're not looking for your floss. And then another floss keeper ring. Some wet ones. Ooh, okay. I didn't notice that. Some lint wipes, which will come in handy. Pencil. Um, some 24 count boy. B O Y. Never seen them before. Needles. And some of them. And what's this? It says it's a few of her favorite things. Uh, paper mite 
sharp writer i have flaw the whole reinforcing stickers or the whole reinforcing stickers are for torn floss cards seam rip oh there's a seam ripper i missed that and a file so that is from caroline and this is from my friend beth the it has a small pair of scissors and a needle minder and huh, this must be to hold your needles because it's very soft oh and this is all teeny teeny tiny little scissors teeny teeny tiny Let's see if i can get them out and yes i'm just playing with these now teeny tiny little scissors they may have to go in my purse. Hmm. All right, I'll stop playing with them. But well, that, uh, Kirkland Design Studios, I just want to stitch and watch Hallmark movies. Right. And from my friend Jill, so she, and Caroline have this um, website that they go to called Pinker and Pump Pumpkin. Look them up. She is a cross stitch designer, but she gives her charts away for free on her blog. So go look them up. And Jill gave, um, there's a, a keeper in here. She gave me some 28 count linen and a bunch of um, charts. I'm free charts. Uh, there's no pictures for any of them, but there's a bunch. As you can see, there's a bunch of them here. And she knows they know I like purple, so she gave me a purple binder. All right, and then I passed out. Um, Floss keeps of my own. Um, I don't have any more. Uh, or I'd show you. Actually, maybe I have a picture. If I do, I'll put it right here. And as I was giving out floss, you know, my floss drops, um, some girls gave me some goodies back. So this is um, Janine Allen. That's She said that's her cat. And I don't remember who gave me all the goodies. I actually forgot I had goodies. Somebody's really good at their Cricut or Silhouette. All right. Candy's going with me out to the living room. All right. So. Um, that was gifts from um, other people at the retreat. Oh, let me show you this. So I participated in the pin keep exchange, and this is the pin keep I got back in in um, return. So the pin keep that I gave them was the uh, summer biscornio, and I'll put a picture here in case you didn't see it before. So that's the summer biscornio, and then I got this from Shirley Stroy Stroyas, and it's called Cherish Stitchers, a Tulip Bouquet Collection Pin Cushion. And these are pins, and I've lost two of them already because there was. One in each corner here, and then one here and one here. So, isn't that pretty? All right, so, um, charts from the retreat. Oh, 
know. And somebody gave us this little flower drum song. It's a little flower drum pattern. And it's got all the goodies to go with it. All right, so these charts are not available. Okay, just to let you know, these are things that I received at the retreat from the designers, and they are not available yet. So from um, the drawn thread, so our main chart was the Stitcher's Garden. And minus the magnetic cord, we received all the stuff to stitch up. And along with the Stitcher's Garden, we received the pattern, not the fabric, to um, a Stitcher's Garden tote. And I believe that's just a modified version of that. And we also received from the drawn thread, um, there is no picture to it, um, but there is a Celtic cross scissor fob. We received, we got to pick out our floss and the um, they gave us the fabric and the chart. All right, so from, um, Summer House Stitch Works. Uh, let's see. The main kit. The main kit is this, uh, the Scarlet Aviary. And they also gave us a second chart called Rebecca's Primer. Well, that's one kit. Um, she showed us so that our make and take was, she showed us how to make the paper top to the, to the drum. And then there is an exclusive to, um, Summer House or to, um, the Silver Needle. It's a complimentary chart. This is called the um, Birds and Berries. It complements this that chart. It uses all the same fabric and floss. All right, so that's everything from Summer House Stitch Works. I'll watch this stuff all fall down. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> so, this is the portion of my show where I show you. I mean, I'm not the only one who overindulged at um, at the Silver Needle. Let me just say that. And some of these charts, um, one of my friends won $250 worth of free merchandise off of... Um, um, the clearance table and she said hey come pick some charts and I, honestly I don't remember which charts I picked out um, I, there's a couple that I know when I look at it I'll know but um, so some of this is not stuff that I bought but some of this is some that uh, my friend let me get with her $250 um, so it's not really as bad as it looks. And I honestly, I did not spend as much as many other people. Um, so I bought some walnut shells. They always come in handy. My goal was just to buy a couple pieces of fabric. So this is 32 count echo by picture this plus. Oh, you know what? Let me open it so you guys can see what they look like. 32 count echo by picture this plus and I got some 32 count murky by picture this plus plus. 
And a lot of people do Halloween stitching on this. Murky's very popular for that. But, you know, I don't do a lot of Halloween stitching, so who knows what that'll be. But I wanted some murky. Um, and the Silver Needle is so gracious to let us all pick out a free fat quarter. And so I got some, this is 32 count Dune. I think this is also a picture, uh, no, this is, I remember, I'll put it down here, but I don't remember, it is not picture this plus, but it's very pretty. All right. So on to the chart portion. I, and as I said, some of these are off of the um, clearance table. And then the rest is stuff that I bought. This is, this may be one of those clearance items. This is Jeanette Douglas's Tiny Christmas Biscornu. And then this is Summer House Stitchworks um, Home Hive Nest. This is the home. And it's a kit that came with uh, the finishing items. And I have We Won Christmas Night by Heart and Hand. Merry Christmas to All by Heart and Hand. Tomato Tart by Heart and Hand. This is a giveaway um, because I did sew this. No, I did not sew this. I lied. This is not a giveaway. But this is Needle and Thread by Heart in Hand. And a Merry Christmas by Heart in Hand. And so. Uh, Oh, I can tell when they're, this is one of those clearance items. This is St uh, Stacy Nash 1806 Manor House sewing roll. So these are giveaways because I already have a copy of these. Um, but I'm not giving these away yet. This is going to go in the giveaway pile. So I've got co two copies of um, Cross Stitch Nation. This is Plum Street Samplers, um, Summer Moon. Look at that big old moon with the flag flying in the back. Love that. Another Plum Street, this is called the Equality Sampler. Um, this is Everyday Things by Heart and Hand. You can see I was drawn to heart and hand in Plum Street Sampler this time. Um, I just love this designer's um, um, humor. So this is Dirty Annie's Deja Poo. A feeling that one has seen and heard this crap before. I just love, I just love that. Um, the American Sampler. The Honeybee Pin Drum. The Schoolhouse Coverlet Drum. By um, Heartstring Samplery. Let's Meet at the Garden Pin Keep. By Stacy Nash. Jane Lafleur's hoop and thread sewing bag. Heartstring samplers stitched together. Psalm 23 by Heartstring Samplery. Oh, Emma Fisher, 1859, sorry. A 
And then here's another coverlet drum, so that would be a giveaway. Um, stitching sampler. Yeah, stitching sampler by Nikki's Creations. Kate Adkin by Heartstring Samplery. Um, Harvest Sampler by Heartstring Samplery. This is Hands on Design Grown with Love. This is a kit. It comes with all the finishing items and the pins. This is the giveaway version of Whip It Good. And this is Between Friends, a summer sampling by Summer House Stitchworks. And I stapled the, um, the goodies to it so that I would know where they're at. So this is a, um, oh, what do you call that? Where two designers get together. It's actually hands-on design and summer house stitch works works the drawn thread sunny side sampler look at that big old sunflowers in the back right in the middle isn't that pretty and this is liberty hill farm by summer house stitch works and it comes with the pins. So let me see if I can move this so that you can see more of it. There you go. Now you can see the rolls. And here is another Whip It Good. And then I bought One Nation by Bygone Stitches. This is another um, Big Mama. Stitch count is 400 by 210. So it'll be a while before I start this. But it, this is definitely one of those that I wanted to start. All right, so that's my shopping experience up at the Silver Needle. While I was, uh, well, not necessarily while I was away but uh, since I've been gone from you guys I did get a couple of the clubs that I am in. I've gotten my July thread club from Color and Cotton. These are the colors. So we have Coastline, Blue Spruce, Barrel Cactus, Mesquite, and Saragossa Sea. So that's the name. All right. And then my um, Scattered Seeds Pin Keep came. I'm in the... the um, What's the name of this club? I don't remember what it's called, but you get um, the pattern and the finishing items for a pin keep. I think it's every three months. So this is called Vintage Charm Pin Keep. Isn't that pretty? And this is by Scattered Seed Sampler. All right. So that's all of the, that's all the stuff I received and bought. And that did not land in the garbage like I wanted it to. All right, so um, Silver Needle Retreat had an awesome time. Um, they told the designers for next year and it's about the same time that we're planning on making our family trip back to Pennsylvania. Um, we go yearly. And we had talked about going during uh, the time period of our my family uh, reunion, which is always in July. So I thought that may be a little too much time off of work. 
So I'll probably not go to that. Um, um, so we had a wonderful time there. Immediately came home and as I anticipated, um, worked hard Monday, Tuesday, getting ready for my survey. Wednesday, uh, they did chart audits. Um, we did okay. And then Thursday, I am the program manager. And to me, it feels like they raked me over the coals, but um, uh, everybody says that I did a good job with it. So I'm like, all right. Uh, we did have, we're guessing maybe 20 deficiencies. And considering this job is new to me and I don't know a lot about quality and process improvements and it was given to me, the job was given to me and our process and all that was not very good beforehand. So I'm trying to fix that. And all of my deficiencies are little things that easily change. So um, a lot of it was quality, our quality process and stuff like that. There were some things related to the floor and to our education and stuff like that. But it's done. Now I gotta catch up on everything that I put aside while I was getting ready for a survey. And I think that's it. Um, oh, pray for my daughter. She's been having abdominal pain. Uh, they had, this is her second time to the doctor within a year for the same pain. Um, so the doctor sent her for lab work and um, sent her for a CAT scan. The that girl, I hope she doesn't watch these, but that girl, she passes out like crazy whenever a needle is around her. Uh, she almost passed out in the lab and um, she didn't realize they were gonna do an IV with her at the CAT scan and she passed out with the IV start, I guess. Oh, I don't know about that daughter. So, so pray for uh, the doctors to, you know, figure out what's going on and then it's not anything severe. It's, it's something that's easily fixed. And I think that's it. This is my long weekend. So I had Thursday, Friday off and I have Saturday, Sunday off. So um, it's nice to just sit and not do anything, not be running around. Um, this weekend got a lot of war yard work to do because it's been neglected. It's been, you know, it's still so stinking hot here. I am not one to complain about the heat. I love it hot, but it needs to cool down for just a little bit. I'm not complaining. I'd rather have it a hundred degrees for, we're going on what, 30 days in a row or almost, you know, the feels like is over a hundred for 30 days in a row. Um, I gladly take that over a cold January, snowy January up in the Northeast. So I'll gladly take this. I'm not complaining, but I got yard work to do. So that'll be tomorrow's project. Or if I get this done in time, maybe a little bit of um, mowing this afternoon before we go grocery shopping. And as I anticipated, um, this was not a short video. So hopefully next week I will get back to my usual, you know, 15, 20 minute visits. Um, and I don't think there's, I think my Fridays are good for a while. So I hope you all enjoyed um, today's visit. Um, I missed sitting here talking with you guys. So I hope you all had a great three weeks while I was away. Thank you for all the comments. Um, if you have not seen my Biscornu tutorial, how uh, to put up Biscornu together, that was the last video I put up. I did not put up a um, the rest of my stash dive because I didn't record it yet. So sometime I'll do that. Anyways, I'm rambling again. So I will let you all go and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye.